Hey everyone, this is David, your instructor for uh, Digital Imaging 1 Online. Uh, just kind of, some of you guys probably watched the other tutorial. I'm just going to make another one because with the new way the books work, some people are having trouble accessing the files. But I kind of want to go through Blackboard first. And once you get into Blackboard, you go to your courses and you click Digital Imaging 1. And you'll see this page here. Now, uh, I've had a couple students say they can't see any of these buttons. What's probably happened is there's this little tab feature here. If you click on it, it hides it. And that can be, you know, kind of freak someone out when they first get into Blackboard. So if you just click on this little tab, you'll see the course menu pop back up. You'll see that we have announcements. I'll be sending out announcements all semester long. It should go to your email. Syllabus. read through the syllabus. Uh, best way to get a hold of me, email. Uh, you can read through this on your own. You'll see the point system. Okay, you have four projects, a bunch of weekly lessons. I want to make sure everyone knows that if you're unable to complete the course, uh, it's better to withdraw from it. And you can do that at April 18th. If you don't, uh, and you're not doing very well in the class, it'll be an F. So, it's better to withdraw than to have an F. The best thing is to contact me and see what we can do to get you to complete the course successfully. Under the syllabus you have weekly lessons. Each week there will be something to do. You can see in this week I just want you guys to post the discussion board. And you'll see attached file and some notes under here. Uh, this is like a PDF PowerPoint. So if you go to the discussion board, which is the first thing you should do this week, you'll see week one, and a bunch of people have already posted to it, so that's cool. If you click on week one, and then create thread, and you can type in first week, and then hello. Dave. And when you're done with it, just submit. And that'll count. And that will be your first grade. When you get farther into the semester and you start turning in weekly lessons, so let's go down to week two. And you click on week two. When you're done with the project in the book, you're going to say, here it is. You don't actually have to do this, but, and then browse my computer. It's like sending an email attachment, and you just pick your project. Remember, these are all Photoshop documents. So, say Project 2, and then Submit. And that'll upload your project to Blackboard. Same thing with semester projects. The first project you're going to see uh, for the semester is you're going to make a little business card. So if you just click on this, this is what's going to happen. It's going to open up in your browser. So don't do that. You right click, save as, and just kind of save it to your desktop. You see that one's already there. Or you can save it to your documents. And so I've saved this. Here's my little business card here. I like to right click and open with. Uh, or you can just drag. Well, this is on a Mac, but you can, if you're using Macintosh, drag it onto the Photoshop icon. Or you just open up Photoshop. And this is CS5. I have CS6 on a different computer. Uh, pretty much the same programs. There's just a lot more f new features in CS6. Well, I'm waiting for that to open. You have video tutorials you can go through. I know you guys are seeing this test. It's only on my screen. It's hidden from you guys. So don't worry about that yet. <coughs> Excuse me. While Photoshop's opening, we'll go see about getting the information about your textbook. So if you go to CengageBrain.com, you'll see this page open up. So you're going to just type in Adobe Photoshop. And you'll see it's probably the first thing that pops up. You click on it. 
and it'll take you to where the book is. This is the book you should be using and you'll see right underneath this free study tools. Access it. Okay. So what you'll see here is uh, the data files. Okay. So click on the data files here. So if you go to, let's see, lesson one. Okay. And come down here and hit data files. You see this is for lesson one. So if you want chapter two, click on it. Click data files. And this is the data file for chapter two. If you click on it, it's going to unzip. Just hit OK. And they're pretty big files. I mean, this one's like 11 megs. So give yourself plenty of time. What I've had students do in the past, and I suggested too, is if you have like an hour free, go ahead and download all the data files for the book all at one time, and then just kind of save them uh, someplace. Okay, so you'll see that these have been saved. You double click it. You'll see that these are all Photoshop files. These are the files that if you open your book and you start in the chapter, you're going to access to complete the assignment. You notice they're all PSD files, and that's how you guys are going to save them for me. Okay, so let's see if Photoshop is opened up. File, open. And I'm going to go to the desktop. Okay, and I'm going to look for the business card, which is right here. Double click it and you'll see that the business card template opens up and then start designing okay and all really I'm asking for this one is you know you get the text tool type some text into it, your name contact information that kind of stuff spinning beach ball of death that's what we call it on an Apple computer this little thing here there we go so Dave David Forth and my number. Okay. You click on this little move tool after the text tool and you can put that down here, add some more information to it. A lot of students at first they come down to this little shape tool and have some fun making boxes. <coughs> Photoshop's going nice and slow this morning, but go in, explore the different tools, have a little fun, okay? So, remember, go to CengageBrain.com, enter the ISBN or the title of the book, and you'll have access to all of your data files, all right? lots of little boxes here and this is just using this shape tool so I've clicked and I've held it down have some fun with that and that's all I'm asking for this one is to get in and explore a little bit have some fun with it and when you're ready to save save as remember to save it as a PSD so I go ahead and save the business card. I do expect you guys to do a little bit more than this, so kind of kind of design a little bit, have some fun. And I'll go ahead and hide Photoshop. Get into Blackboard. And so I've completed my project one. I click on it. Remember, I don't want any photos in this first project. Just use some fun stuff in Photoshop. Okay. Browse my computer and go to desktop and there's the business card I just did in Photoshop double click it and then submit and that'll upload your first project so if you guys have any questions uh, send me an email and I hope to have a good semester with all of you